Okay, welcome to the, the first episode of the, the drum reactions on this channel. I had originally planned to use this channel for actual drum videos and drum covers, but unfortunately I have a, an injury in my neck and my shoulder at the moment. So that has to be stopped for the time being. And while I wait for it to heal, I just thought we'd go through YouTube and find some some drum cams of some professionals doing their thing and we'll try and break a few things down and follow along and give some thoughts and comments on it. So the first one we're going to start with is Ate Palakangas from Beast in Black. And if you haven't seen a Beast in Black concert, you have to go. They were absolutely up there in my top three performances of all time in terms of quality, sound and entertainment. Just absolutely second to none. So we're going to watch the drum cam of Cry Out For A Hero live in Helsinki on the 13th of December 2019. I actually saw these guys in 2018 when they supported Nightwish uh, on their Decades tour in Wembley. That was a great concert by the way. Huge. My first real big, big concert. The second album from Beast in Black, uh, from Hell with Love, is slightly different to the first one, but I think it's the a good step in the right direction for them. I mean, the first album was great, but the second album really showed their character a lot more. Straight away, endless smiling. have a lot of this rhythm going through the sort of four to the floor really industrious you know quarter note kick all the time and it really helps drive the song Tom sounds really punchy as well his face. He really does enjoy what he's doing. I wish I could smile like that. Whoa, just made it to the end of the fill there. Just made it. Look at that smile. It's just constant enthusiasm for what they're doing. Incredible. And again. guitar solo from Anton Kabanen, used to be the guitarist for Beast and Blood and uh, Battle Beast. Maybe that's why their new album sounds so different compared to the old ones. kick drum again, driving the chorus. Eighth note double bass. That's interesting. The double bass comes back in on the and of four, uh, so you have to start with left foot leading. 
which can be quite tricky if you don't practice leading with your left foot. Well, I think we can all agree that Ate is without a doubt the happiest drummer I've ever seen. Uh, <laughs> playing live, throwing the sticks about and smiling from start to finish. But when you see them live, uh, like I did, you'll realise that that totally transforms the, the character and the enthusiasm persona of the band when you see them throwing things about. And, and really, they are really, really having a good time. Technically, it's absolutely sound. There's nothing... There's nothing too complicated in it whatsoever. Four to the floor, snare two and four with some odd odd double bass sections, particularly at the end where it modulates. The only interesting thing about the double bass section is when it comes back in for the second chorus, on the and beat of four, you're actually leading with your left foot. Now, I should practice more leading with the left foot, but I'm, I'm a righty, I've always led with my right. And it can be quite tricky and can catch you out if you're not really paying attention if you don't lead with your left foot. I just thought it was quite interesting there with the way it comes back on the, the, the four and and then it leads back in to uh, the one, beat one on the right foot. So that was Ate Palakangas, uh, drummer for Beast in Black at Helsinki on the 13th of December 2019. I have a few more drum cams I already have lined up, but if there's any particular ones you want me to look at and have a comment on it and maybe ones I haven't seen before so you can get a genuine, a genuine reaction to something I've not seen, those are always... They're always much better than ones we've seen before. Leave a comment, message me on YouTube, message me wherever, and I'll get round to it. I'll try to put these out every two days, maybe every day if I have the time. So until then, I want you to do it. I want do you to it. comment, and I want you to give me recommendations for what we're going to do next. So we'll see you next time.